Sis guy, he a visionary. Here's really where I want y'all to focus on. Because remember, the grand lawsuit comes out of New York, right? So you got Jeffrey Harris Lickman, born June 5th, 1965, is what? New York based. We're not going to go through too much of anything like that, but we're going to go literally to the people in which she's represented. John Gotti Jr., American mobster, former acting boss of the Gambino crime family and son of John Gotti. The gang, Fat Joe. Vincent Dementri, American broadcast journalist. Check this one out. Joaquin El Chapo Guzma, American drug lord, one of the founders of the Sinaloa Cartel, Mexico's most powerful drug cartel. K Flock. Ooh, I mean, yeah. But either way it go, bruh. Let's get into it. So let, let's understand something. Buddy ain't known for civil suits and all this stuff and everything like that. He's not known for civil, which means you sue individuals. So that was a smoke screen for a lot of y'all. When y'all seen the quote unquote footage and all this stuff and everything that was sped up and everything like that, you got to understand what's being done. It's called distraction. I could do like this and stab you right here. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. Why would you hire a damn criminal attorney that's known for criminal stuff because they're expecting the worst i told y'all probably probably about what next week <laughs> probably within next week i don't know bro they're going to jail all the diddies are going to jail did he bop did he do did he him did he her whatever diddy and his sons are going to jail now they'll make bail they'll have a damn court but expect it expect it and you can expect it's going to be on one of, obviously, the trafficking. That's the number one thing. But the drugs are another. The guns are another. And then potentially assault with a deadly weapon. You see what I'm saying? Because it's six years on that. And it hasn't been six years on that. So there's that part. So when I, when I hear people talking and everything like that about what's going to happen and all that, will it, will it, will it not? Brent, it's going to happen. They're going to be arrested. Mark my words. It, I'm not going to say it's all over and all that stuff because everybody deserves their day in court. But what I can tell you is, bro, this is bad. This is really bad because that's like me telling y'all, hey, bro, you know, I'm about to go out here and practice shooting as far as basketball goes. But instead of me hiring a damn shooting coach i hire a shooting coach who also literally teaches people athletics like running and getting you jump up and all that stuff and then i'm like oh yeah by the way i'm about to go actually play in a basketball league y'all be like I, I thought you were just practicing shooting that's exactly what just happened here man but um uh, good luck bro good luck one of the things that also happened is cassie will be testifying and going against the grain because it's a federal lawsuit right well it's a federal charge one thing that happened is the Jane Doe that's in Michigan is being represented by the same lawyer who is representing Cassie. That's from what I last read. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that's the same one. So there's that. It's getting uglier than ugly out here. And I'm going to be honest with you. Get your damn court, bro. I'm not wishing no jail on nobody, anything like that. But let's just say all of this is true. Wow. <laughs> absolute power absolutely corrupts because in one instance bro like i've been saying on the surface and everything like that bro it's not really like what he did isn't really a bad thing you got your girls you tell your girls to go get your drugs all right cool that's just the same thing like some of you other cats who are in states where it hasn't legalized smoking weed right you go tell your girl, hey, go pick up this weed from the homie down the street because I'm about to go do this and do that. You just did exactly what P. Diddy did. Also, at the same time, hey, if you into some freaky deaky stuff and you happen so do it or you pay for some for some snatch, you just did the same thing. Now, I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying it's all right or anything like that, but I just move in a different space in a different place. And that's all that is to it. Now, let's dig a little bit deeper. What do I think ultimately is going to happen? I think your boy Lil Rod is going to end up winning his lawsuit, but I don't think he's going to get all that money. 
Diddy cannot settle. <laughs> Diddy cannot settle that lawsuit. It, it, it's done. Because one thing I noticed is that, once again, the burden of proof is really small as far as civil suits go. But now, to the criminal stuff, whew, I think Diddy going to end up getting found guilty on one of them charges. He probably going to get about hit with about nine charges that deals with trafficking, meaning, you know, that I can't say the word. And then, depending on what they find in the house, but if they found unregistered and illegal firearms and stuff like that, you have to literally look at it and say, where did we find it? And then they do what's called more likely than not, as far as who they charge it to. If they found some guns in Diddy's room, more likely than not, hey, bruh, that's his. But as far as the, the residue on the thumbprints and stuff like that, it, I mean, thumbprints on the firearms and stuff like that, that might get them in. I guarantee you, if they found any guns, they're running that through DNA testing right now as we speak. But y'all know how we do, man. Should to keep your people aware. Subscribe to our bell. Stay notified at 7 o'clock on the other channel. We will be dropping why it's still trial today. I uh, kind of was spot on, but uh, it's a couple of things I need to point out that I have problems with. A couple of things to point out that regular people just have to accept. All right, man. So y'all know we just hit a thousand subs. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help us out. Help us out. I'll catch y'all at the 10,000 sub mark. New video will drop in. We out you